So some people think that the traits that would make our children qualify as designer babies, higher intelligent, perfect pitch, uh, athleticism, extreme athleticism, are simply too complex to engineer, so we don't have to worry anyway. Or that commercial forces and competitive dynamics might make parents in affluent communities like um, feel that they were being irresponsible to deny children the quote-unquote best start in life. Some even argue that it would be unethical not to modify their children. One recent article even suggested that governments of the future may prosecute parents for not genetically modifying their children, as in the case, uh, at least in the U.S. for the moment, uh, parents who deny um, life-saving medical treatment to their children can also be prosecuted by the law. So in a world where technologies such as CRISPR have the power to exacerbate social inequalities in unprecedented ways, it is essential that the public understand the nuances of this emerging technology in order to make informed decisions about what we do or do not want for our future. So gene editing for reproduction is a social and political matter, not just a scientific one. And there is simply too much at stake to move forward without broad inclusion of the wider public. So to recap, the medical ar arguments for human germline modification are tenuous at best, and the temptation to quote-unquote enhance future generations is profoundly dangerous. And our scientific achievements are all too likely to become not instruments of enlightenment and emancipation, but mechanisms for exacerbating inequality. So down that road, our desire to improve the human condition leads us away from the social and political changes that we know are needed to provide people now with clean air, good food, education, and basic health care. So as a lasting summary, my organization, CGS, has developed seven reasons to say no to genetically modified humans. We have profound health risks to future generations, thin medical justification, as in there's already alternatives to prevent um, uh, the inheritance of genetic disease, treating human beings like engineered products, violating what UNESCO has called the common heritage of humanity, undermining widespread policy agreements among dozens of democratic nations, eroding public trust in responsible science, and reinforcing inequality, discrimination, and conflict in the world.